Features of Python Easy to learn Python has relatively few keywords, simple structure and a clearly defined syntax. Easy to read Python code is just like English language. Case sensitive Python is case sensitive language. In Python, pay and pay are not the same. They are interpreted differently. Free and open source. Python is an example of open source software. It means you can freely distribute copies of this software, read its source code and make changes to it. Object oriented. Python supports object oriented programming concepts of classes and objects. The programs are built around objects which combine both data and functionality. Interpreted. The Python interpreter executes the code one line at a time. Internally, Python converts the source program into an intermediate form called bytecode and then translates this to run on the specific platform. Interactive mode. Python Idle Integrated Development and Learning Environment comprises Python Shell and Python Editor. Python Shell is an interactive interpreter window where Python code is typed at greater than prompt and run the shell response with the result. Cross-platform. A Python program can run on any platform without making changes to it, which means that the same program will run on Windows, Linux, Macintosh, etc. Python is a general purpose, dynamic, interpreted, interactive, high-level, multi-platform, an object-oriented programming language. How to use Python Idle? Step 1. Click on Start, All Programs, Python 3.7, Idle, Python 3.7, 32-bit. Step 2. This will open the main Idle window, also known as Interpreter or Shell window. Step 3. The Idle window has two parts, menu bar and prompt. My first Python program. Python prompt allows you to enter commands directly and get its output instantly by pressing the enter key. To write a program, perform the following steps. Step 1. Write the following print statement at the prompt. Print with an inverted commas and bracket. Hello world. Step 2. Press the enter key. You will see hello world written on the screen. Print statement is used to display a string on the screen. The string should always be enclosed in inverted commas, double quotes or in single quotes. Calculations can also be done directly on the idle prompt. To perform calculations, perform the following steps. Step 1. Write 372 plus 7 at the prompt. 372 plus 7. Step 2. Press the enter key. The result 379 is displayed on the screen. You can also use print statement to do the above calculation. Perform the following steps. Step 1. Write the following command using the print statement. Print within brackets 372 plus 7. Step 2. Press the enter key. You see the same output 379 on the screen. Variables in Python. Variables are memory locations that are used to store values. When a variable is created, some space is allocated in memory for it. This memory space is referred by the name that we give to the variable. It is easy to create a variable in Python. You just need to assign a value to a variable. For example, age is equal to 30, name is equal to within double inverted commas Nisha, temp is equal to 35.7, Price is equal to 625.50. Here 30, Nisha, 35.7 
and 625.50 are the values assigned to variables named age, name, temp and price respectively. Rules of naming variables. The rules for naming a variable are 1. A variable name must start with the letter A to Z or an underscore. 2. A variable name cannot start with a digit. 3. Keywords cannot be used as variable names. 4. A variable can only contain alphanumeric characters and underscore A to Z both capital as well as small and 0 to 9 numbers. 5. No special symbols like exclamation mark at the rate, hashtag, dollar, percentage, etc. can be used in variable name. 6. Variable names are case sensitive. Examples of some valid variable names, Gaurav123, mygood underscore book, underscore usha93, Meera Yadav, age, etc. Examples of some invalid variables, one underscore name, at the rate address, one, two, three, four, hyphen age. Multiple variable assignment. Python allows us to assign a single value to several variables simultaneously. For example, A is equal to B is equal to C is equal to 32. In the above example, all the variables A, B and C will be assigned the value 32. We can also assign multiple values to multiple variables simultaneously. For example, A, B, C is equal to 32, 96.4. Aryan. In the above example, variable A will be assigned value 32, variable B will be assigned value 96.4 and variable C will be assigned value Aryan. Character set. A character set means the characters like alphabet, digits or special symbols that can be used to write programs in Python language. Alphabet A to Z or small a to Z. Digits 0 to 9. Special symbols, inverted commas, exclamation, at the rate, hashtag, dollar, percentage, superscript and brackets, star, hyphen, underscore, plus, equal to, colon, slash, bracket, semicolon, double inverted commas, less than, greater than, question mark. Keywords. These are the reserved words which cannot be used as variable names as they carry a special meaning for the interpreter. In Python, Keywords are case sensitive. Examples of some keywords in Python are true, elif, del, if, none, false, import, else, etc. Data types. The types of data or value that can be stored in variables are called data type. Python has six standard data types which are as follows. Number. This data type stores the numerical values including integer values, long values, floating point numbers. For example, A is equal to 3 or marks is equal to 99.5. String. This data type stores a sequence of characters including alphabet, numbers and special symbols. A string value is defined inside single or double quotation marks. For example, S1 is equal to PY or S2 is equal to THON. List. The list data type can store series of values within square brackets. For example, L is equal to within brackets 23, 13.12, 2802, orange, education, tuple. 
The tuple data type can store series of values within parentheses. For example, t is equal to within brackets 23 23.07 211 2007 python dictionary a dictionary is a collection of key value pairs of any type within brackets for example dict is equal to within brackets 1 colon abc x colon 4 2 colon 8 none this data type represents the absence of value. For example, num1 is equal to none. Operators. Operators are special symbols in Python that are used to perform arithmetic or logical computation. They are used along with operands or values to get the desired result. For example, 5 plus 3 operator operands there are various types of operators which are as follows arithmetic operators relational operators logical operators let's discuss these in detail arithmetic operators these operators are used to do basic mathematical calculations operator name syntax example a is equal to 11, B is equal to 4. Output plus addition A plus B, A plus B, 15. Minus subtraction A minus B, A minus B, 7. Multiplication A multiply B, A multiply B, 44. Division A divided by B, a divided by B, 2.75. 2 slash, flaw or integer division. A, integer division B. A, integer division B. 2. Percentage, remainder. A, percentage B. A, remainder B. 3. Exponentiation. A, exponentiation B. A, exponentiation B. 14641. Let's write a simple Python program by using arithmetic operators. Step 1. Click on Start, All Programs, Python 3.7, Idle, Python 3.7, 32-bit. Step 2. Click on File, New File. Type the code in the editor window as shown. Step 3. Click on File, Save As to open Save As dialog box. Step 4. Enter a file name and click on Save button. Step 5. To run the program, click on Run, Run Module or press the F5 key from the keyboard. The output will be shown in the Python shell window. Relational Operators these operators help to compare quantities and return boolean value true or false as a result. Operator, description, syntax, example, output, is equal to, is equal to. This is used to check the equality between two values. Within brackets, A is equal to, is equal to B. A, B, C is equal to, is equal to A, B, C. A, B, C is equal to, is equal to X, Y, Z. True, false. Exclamation mark is equal to. This operator used to check the non-equality between two values. A, exclamation mark is equal to B. A, B, C, exclamation mark is equal to A, B, C. ABC exclamation mark is equal to ABC. True, false. Greater than. This operator checks if the first value is greater than the second value. A is greater than B. 11 is greater than 2. 11 is greater than 13. True, false. Less than. 
This operator is used to check if the first value is less than the second value. A is less than B. 15 is less than 5. 15 is less than 20. False. True. Greater than is equal to. This operator is used to check if the first value is greater than or equal to the second value. A is greater than equal to B. 22 is greater than equal to 22. 22 is greater than equal to 19. True. True. Less than equal to. This operator is used to check if the first value is less than or equal to the second value. A is less than equal to B. 27 is less than equal to 26. 30 is less than equal to 31. False. True. Logical operators. They are used to combine multiple conditions and evaluate them. They return a Boolean value true or false as a result. Operator description and returns true value if all the given conditions are true or returns true value if any one of the given conditions is true. Comments in Python Comments are the text written inside the code for better understanding of the code. A hash character is written at the beginning of the comment. Comments are not a part of the code and are ignored by the Python interpreter. For example, hashtag program on simple calculator. This line will not be read by the Python interpreter, but it is giving information about the program to the reader. The input statement. This statement is used to take input from the user during the execution of the program. The input statement acts as a message communicator between user and the computer. The general syntax is syntax input prompt. Here prompt is a message for the user related to the code. Example x is equal to input. What is your name? In this example, the input statement will use the prompt what is your name to get the input from user and assign it to the variable x. The value taken from the input statement is a string value. To convert this value into an integer or float for further calculation, use the following functions. Function, description, example, int. The int function converts a float or string variable into int data type. int x converts variable x into an integer. float The float function converts a string or int variable into a float data type. float x converts variable a into a floating point number. The print statement. The print statement is used to print the output of a program on the screen. The general syntax is syntax print within brackets message comma variable underscore name. Example print within brackets within inverted commas area of the square is comma area. Creating simple Python programs. Let's write some simple programs using input and print statements and operators. Example 1. To accept length and breadth of a rectangle from the user and calculate the area and perimeter. Note, the int function used in this example converts the user's input into integer data type to calculating the area and perimeter of the rectangle. Example 2. To find amount to be paid. Example 3. To find final wages of a worker. The input and the print functions. We have already learnt about the input and print functions. The input and print functions are used to take input from the user during execution and to print the output on the screen respectively. 
Let's revise the general syntax of both these statements. The input function. Syntax. Input. Within brackets. Within inverted commas. Prompt. Example. H is equal to input. Within brackets. Within inverted commas. Enter your age. In this example, the user will be asked to enter the age through the prompt enter your age. The value given by the user will be stored in the variable age. The input statement always returns a value of string type. The int and float functions are used with the input statement to convert the values received through input function into integer and float values respectively. You can use the int and float functions along with the input function in the following way. H is equal to int within brackets, input within brackets, within inverted commas, enter your age. Or height is equal to float within brackets, input within brackets, within inverted commas, enter your height. The print function, syntax, print, within brackets, message, comma, variable, underscore, name. Example, print, within brackets, age is, comma, x. In this example, the value of the variable x is displayed with the message age is on the output screen. Let us create a Python program by using the input and print functions. For example, name is equal to input within brackets, within inverted commas, enter your name, colon. Marks is equal to int within brackets, input within brackets, within inverted commas, enter marks scored in maths, colon. Print within brackets, within inverted commas, your name is colon, comma, name. Print within brackets, within inverted commas, you have scored comma marks comma within inverted commas marks in maths the print function automatically converts the provided items into string even if we provide a numeric value or an expression it first evaluates the expression and then converts the result into string conditional statements the programs you have written till now by using the input and print functions were executed statement by statement one after the other in a top to bottom approach. But if we need to make some changes in the default flow of a program, then we need to use the conditional statements also known as decision making statements. There are three decision making statements in Python. If statement, if else statement, if elif l statement the if statement the if statement is the most basic conditional statement in python that allows you to test a condition before executing the statements the syntax of the if statement is if less than conditional expression statements for example run the program twice for values 22 and 7 respectively when you enter 22, the condition 22 percentage 2 is equal to is equal to 0 returns true. So, the statement inside the body of if statement gets executed and the output shown as the number is even. Thank you. When you enter the value 7, then the output shown is thank you. Because the condition 7 percentage 2 is equal to is equal to zero returns false. So the statement inside the body of if statement does not get executed and only the print statement outside gets executed. The if else statement. The if else statement is used to execute either of the block of statements from if or else statements. When the condition next to the if keyword evaluates to true, the if block statements will be executed. Otherwise, the statement below the else block will be executed. The syntax of the if else statement is if 
conditional expression, statements, else, statements, for example. Test expression true, body of if. Test expression false, body of else, body of if. As you did in the previous example, run the program twice for the values 22 and 7 respectively. When you enter 22, the condition 22 percentage 2 is equal to is equal to 0 returns true. So the output is the number is even. Thank you. When you enter the value 7, then the output is the number is odd. Thank you. This is because Condition 7 percentage 2 is equal to is equal to 0 with the if keyword returns false. So the control goes to the statements in the else block. The if elif else statement. This statement helps us to test multiple conditions and execute one out of the multiple blocks of statements. In the if elif else structure, there can be any number of elif statements, but only one else statement. These blocks are specified by if, elif, and the else keywords. The syntax of the if, elif, else statement is if conditional expression, statements, elif, conditional expression, statements, else, statements. For example, Run this program four times with the inputs W, R, S, T respectively. You will see the output as winter, rainy, summer and wrong code respectively. This is because each time condition is checked with the conditional expression written after the if and elif keywords and the output returns the statement written in the block where the perfect match is found. Looping statements. Looping statement allow us to repeat a set of instructions a given number of times. It is also called as iteration statement. Python provides two kinds of looping statements, which are for and while. However, the for loop is more commonly used as compared to the while loop. Let us learn about the for loop in detail. The for loop. The for loop in Python helps to repeat a set of statements a definite number of times. It is designed to process the items of any sequence one by one. The syntax of the for loop is for variable in set of values. Statements to repeat. The variable is a loop variable that controls the iterations of the for loop. The set of values written after the in keyword is the sequence of elements from where the variable will derive its value while repeating the statements written in the body of the for loop. Start for item in sequence test is sequence empty? Yes. Stop is sequence empty? No. Statement block. Next, for item in sequence, test, is sequence empty? Yes, stop, no, statement block. The above loop will give the output as shown. The statement that forms the body of the loop repeats continuously for each value 10, 15, 20 and 25 of the given set of values. 10, 15, 20, 25. The statement thank you is outside the body of the for loop. Hence, it is executed once at the end after the loop completed its execution. Jump statements. Sometimes there is a situation when the control of the program needs to be transferred out of the loop body, even if all the values of the sequence have not been taken. For this purpose, Jump statements are used in Python. Python offers two jump statements, break and continue, which are used within the loops to jump out of the loop body. The break statement. The break statement terminates the loop within which it lies. It skips rest of the statements in the loop and jumps over to the statement following the loop. 
following diagram explains the working of a break statement the syntax of the break statement is as follows for variable in sequence conditional expression of loop true break false conditional expression of loop statement 1 if conditional expression statement 2 statement 3 break statement 4 For example the output of the above code is this is because of the break statement gets executed when the condition given with the if keyword becomes true within brackets x is equal to is equal to 20 which causes the loop to stop executing and comes to statement outside the loop the continue statement unlike the break statement the continue statement forces the next iteration of the loop to take place and skips the current iteration for example the continue statement blocks the execution of the for loop for x is equal to is equal to 20 the for loop will be executed normally for all other values of x